Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDCQ. So today we are talking pocket dump. What have I carried this past week and what are the new items added to the rotation? Yes, there are a few of them. So if you wanna know what they are, come on back because here we go. Alright guys and gals, so today I have another pocket dump for you and this past week quite a few items have changed in that pocket dump and uh, let's kick it off and see what those are. So the uh, Wonder Woman bands still rocking the same uh, camo uh, Casio G-Shock, uh, probably will switch this out for a different watch today. Um, and then over here on this side, that is the Apple Watch Series 8. So I did go ahead and um, upgrade my, uh, my Fitbit after, I, after last week's pocket dump when I talked about feeling the itch to go ahead and switch them. Um, my watch decided to move on from me and it has, not, it has not synced up or connected properly since then. And it thinks it's like eight, like eight and a half hours time difference. So my watch was like, dude, peace. And it, it just left me. And so it kind of forced me to go ahead and upgrade the watch. And uh, I am so deep in the Apple ecosystem, it's not even funny. And so I'm, I'm rocking the Series 8 and I actually have a new band coming in. That's just the standard band it comes with. But so very excited for that. Uh, really like the way it connects with everything. And uh, if you do have an iPhone and you're in the, the Apple world, the notifications and the connection to the iPhone is so drastically different than any other watch I've used, which is a Fitbit. I mean, let's be honest. I think I've used an Amaze Fit, um, the T-Rex Pro or something. But the connectivity with the Apple Watch and what the Apple Watch will tell you from your phone is is so much more than anything else. And yeah, so there you go. So Apple Watch Series 8, rocking that, very happy with that choice. And then uh, right here, you can see another new item. And so this is the Tough Possum Gear belt pouch. And so this pouch just has two webbing loops and I run my belt through that. And I actually put one of my belt loops in the middle of the, see if we can show it, of the two um, webbing loops. So this thing can't move. It's got a webbing loop, a belt loop, and a webbing loop. So it's staying right there. I did add a little glow fob onto it and a carabiner onto it. And inside of here, uh, I have, I can't really snap this off that easy. It, it, I have to remove my belt to get it. But uh, I've got my uh, Axwell wallet sitting in here. I have the Benchmade Mini Claymore riding in here. I have an Akluma flashlight uh, sitting down in the bottom. I have a Mini Bic lighter with my uh, um, Gorilla Tape on it. And it still works, weekly check. I've got the normal stuff you've expected to see, wet wipes, uh, Listerine breath strips. I do have a tactile turn pen that's in Ultem and it's in black, not the yellow. And uh, that's, ba that's basically what I got in here. I have a few suckers for the little one if we're out and about and I need him to uh, be entertained. But if you can tell, though, the items that are in here are a lot of stuff that I'm used to having in my pocket, which I really like because now when I want to change um, pants or shorts that I'm wearing, there's a lot less stuff to empty from my pockets each night and to put in my new pockets. Now still in my, in my front hand pocket, I do still have a lot of stuff in here. I've got uh, Listerine breath strips. I have some coins. I have my 20 sided die. And then currently I have a few of these little uh, Mucinex drops. I've got a little, little summer cold thing going on. I don't know, but those definitely help with the mitigate the coffin and I like that they're kind of individually packaged like that. So those are still riding in my front pocket which without the um, without the cough drops I think that's still a relatively normal loadout for that pocket. My lower leg pocket I'm ro rocking the uh, Skeletal Leatherman uh, CX so it has the uh, 154 cm blade and that's a plain edge. Now I did upgrade 
the um, bits here. So they're, they're still the same Leatherman bits, but this is a flat and Phillips head. So I have that one riding uh, in the tool ready, ready to ble be implemented. And then in the side where it holds an extra bit, I actually, see if I can help you see this. I actually have a T6 and a T8 bit. So now inside of this Leatherman uh, Skeletal CX, I have a flat and a Phillips, and then I have the bits I'm most likely to use to, to fix a knife, to adjust a knife. So this tool has now even become more useful for me than just having the double-sided flat and the du double-sided Phillips. So I really like uh, what I did with that. That has actually come in very handy. I have a little bit of cash in my back right pocket. We have, like I said, we have summer colds going on. So this is actually used for the little guy, my little toddler dude. He's, he's the one who passed this little cold we have going on around. And then uh, in my front left pocket, I just have one thing, and that is some business cards. So we can rep the channel when we're out and about and tell people about it. And then the only other item I have are my AirPod Pros. And now you can see there, I got some stickers for it, and that is in multicam, <clears throat> but I did not get it lined up very well. And so I pulled off all of the, um, all of the stickers that I put on, cause there were, there were four pieces. I pulled off the other three and this one um, got left on for now, but I do have another set. They send you with a double set. So sometime when I'm not distracted and the little one's not around, I'm gonna attempt to do that again. And if that doesn't work, then I'll just leave it plain. But I did want to get the uh, stickers on there to kind of keep the white white because mine will get dirty. But that is that is it, guys. That's what I got in my pockets. Um, really enjoying the upgrades of the AirPods. Really enjoying the upgrade of the watch. And really, really liking that belt pouch. Now, there's no organization in it. It is strictly a dump pouch, but it kind of works. Like, you just throw all your stuff in there. And, I mean, you kind of have to mill about to find it but it's not that big. It's actually not hard to find what you're looking for in it. And it just kind of keeps everything right there. So really dig in that pouch. Definitely check them out. Tough Possum Gear belt pouch. And yeah, let me know what you think, guys. I will never ask you to like or subscribe. You do you, but I would appreciate it if you commented below. What have you been carrying this past week? What do you think of my changes? Um, and what would you do different? So thanks for watching. I will have some new content soon and remember, EDC? EDC.